Temperatures in the Arctic have reached the highest since observations began in 1900, according to an annual report by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. The average air temperature over land areas was 2.3 degrees Fahrenheit above average between October last year and September this year. Warming is happening more than twice as fast in the Arctic than anywhere else in the world. We know this is due to climate change and its impacts are creating major challenges for Arctic communities who depend on the region for sustenance and cultural identity. Increasing air and sea surface temperatures also decreased sea ice extent and the mass of Greenland's ice sheet. Maximum sea ice extent measured in February this year was the lowest since records began in 1979, according to the report. We also know what happens in the Arctic doesn't stay in the Arctic. Changes in the region affect climate globally and security internationally. The retreat of sea ice is considered a threat to animals like walruses, which use it for mating, giving birth and getting out of the water. Snow cover in June in the Arctic was at the second lowest level on record. Reduced snow cover lets more sunlight through to the land, which absorbs the energy and gets warmer.